In a previous video, we saw how we can use MCP tools within Langflow. So we built a simple agent app, which has access to different tool. And in addition to the regular tools that we can find within the tools tab here on the sidebar, we can also add MCP tools. And this is also available. So we can search for MCP and there are two different components available. And we use the standard IO and we saw how we can take one of the tools from the list available online or on any of the MCP directories and then use it in this agent flow. Now, in addition to that, something really cool that we can do is we can use Langflow as a whole to act as a server. And what that means is all of our flows within the Langflow server that we have running are going to be available for us within any application. So for example, if I want to use these flows, so if there is this particular flow for transcript, so I want to pass the YouTube URL and I want to get the YouTube transcript from the flow, what I can do is I can make our Langflow instance available within different applications. So all of these become tools for us. So let's look at an example of how we can do that. Now, what I have here is Claude Desktop. This is just an example that we can use. We could definitely use tools like Cursor or any other provider where we can add MCP servers and access any of the flows that we saw earlier. Now I searched for Claude desktop app and it gave me this particular application to download and install. So I did that. Now I can ask questions and ask things like simple question, can you access Langflow? And most likely it's going to say no, because it does not have access to Langflow. So it's probably just going to give some general suggestion or answer to us. Fine. Now the steps we're going to take is to add the Langflow MCP connectivity here. So let's do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open settings for Claude. And within settings, you have the developer option. And within that, it mentions MCP. So we are going to get started with this. But before we get started, we're going to edit configuration. So I'm going to open. So what you notice is it is going to open a configuration file. And this is exactly what we want to modify. We can use any of the tools that we have on our system. It could be cursor or some other tool. I'm going to keep it very simple. So if you don't have any other tool, if you just have text edit option, you could use that. We are going to bring in a script that we will paste here. So this is a script you want to use to connect with Langflow. It is basically following the guidelines available from Claude on how to connect any of the servers within the Claude desktop app. And feel free to take this over to one of the tools like ChatGPT and ask what is happening within this script. It'll help you explain. So one thing to modify is the MCP host. So you might want to make sure that this particular host URL, this is going to be something available from your system. Most likely the Langflow instance is going to start at 7860 port. But in case if you notice that it is something else within your setup, then you might want to modify this to reflect accordingly. Now, one way to know how you can find these paths that we are going to be providing here is you can run these commands. So the first one for UV or UVX, you're going to say which UVX and you'll get the path. Same thing with Python 3. If you run both of these, you'll get the paths and these are what you're going to be providing here. So I am going to add both of these. So I did that. I'm going to sign this as well. And basically, this will make sure that you're using the right path. And with that, we can save this. And we're going to be closing Claude Desktop. Also make sure you are quitting it so it's not running in the background. And with that, now we're going to open the desktop app again, just to make sure now things are fine. And with that, you should be able to see two things. One is this icon, which is saying that it is attached with an MCP. And this is 
the Langflow MCPE. In case if you have any resources like PDFs or anything that you have uploaded before, you're going to see it in the list here. And then it mentions about the MCP server. This is the Langflow MCP server. And then we can see the two tools we have. So tools are going to show in this little hammer icon here. And the resources are going to show in this dropdown. Great. With that, now I can ask questions like some calculations. So we have an agent that is using calculator tool. So I'm going to see if it uses the right tool or not. There might be some changes you'll have to make with the description. So right now you notice that it can calculate. It's asking for us to use the tool. So we're going to allow for this chat or we can allow for once. Uh, it depends. It's going to send the value and then it is going to reach out to the agent and then we are going to get some value and it used this particular flow which ends in b2 and if i were to look into the simple agent that we had calculator and url we can look at the id and this ends in b2 so it used the right tool and the right agent so that's the benefit now langflow is acting as an mcp server now we can access any of the flows you just want to make sure that the descriptions you have for the flows are proper so you are providing the right info to the client which is in this case cloud desktop that this particular flow can help with calculator tool and url scraping tool we can have as many of the flows and as long as we can define them and have good naming and description for that we should be good to use any of the flows so you can imagine using any tools any flow any agent uh, based application and then calling it from cloud or calling it from cursor or calling from any client which can basically use mcp server so that's the power of this technique and it is a simple setup and now anything any chat that we have in cloud have access to all of the flows in langflow and we have already increased the productivity of our application so instead of relying just on the knowledge that the model was trained on which is cloud 3.7 in this case so we can ask for the knowledge cutoff date where it can respond saying the end of october which is fairly recent uh, but it's not current. So if we want to get current topics, we can use our flows here. We can use tools like Tavoli Search or Composio or Firecrawl and then get the latest info and then provide that to Claude and basically have the power of the LLM and all of the tools available in Langflow. So hopefully this gets you started on the journey of using Langflow as an MCP server. And we had a video previously of how you can access MCP tools within Langflow. So there are components to use the standard IO as well as the SAC option. And you can call any of the MCP servers that are online as well. So both are now available and that's something you can use within Langflow.